Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Gregory Petrov was an Orthodox priest who was imprisoned by the Communists. It is really difficult for us to imagine such an experience. It's beyond our comprehension. For some, though, this experience of a persecution and suffering can crush their faith. For others, they find deeper wells of trust in God's strength and power. There is a prayer by Gregory Petrov that expresses his confidence in God's power. No one can put together what is crumbled into dust, but you can restore a conscience turned to ashes. You can restore to its former beauty a soul lost and without hope. With you there is nothing that cannot be redeemed. You are love. You are creator and redeemer. We praise you singing Alleluia. The Apostle Paul wrote letters to the Christians of his day. They too experienced rejection. They even had times of imprisonment and, and even occasions when Christians had to face death. Paul sought to encourage them in their faith through his letters. Our Bible reading for today comes from his second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. And I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. So we do not lose heart. Even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for the eternal weight of glory beyond all measure. Because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, and what cannot be seen is eternal. Do not lose heart. This was Paul's word of encouragement to the Christians of the first century. It is also his message to the Christians of the 21st century. Do not lose heart. Even though our lives do not have the, the same degree of uncertainty and we do not experience the same sort of persecution, nonetheless, we struggle with discouragement. And so we need to be reminded, we need to be reminded each day that God has the power to heal, to restore, and renew. We can trust God to bring us through. It is as we sing praise to God that we express our confidence in God's power. Just saying the word Alleluia has a way of focusing our attention on God's strength. For a prayer exercise for today, I'd like to suggest that you set your alarm for three different times in the day. So you may want to set your alarm for 9 o'clock, noon time, and 5. And then each time that the alarm goes off, say the word, Alleluia. May this expression of praise help you not to lose heart as you go through your day.